a one bank robbery later. I can't believe it. No, no, got away with yeah, that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, never snitch. Never snitch. Never snitch. One of you is going to jail for a long time. He did it. Bitch, nigga, snitch, nigga, hope. Man, I love white people. I do. I got a lot of white friends. I do, man. I got so many white friends. I say things now I've never said in my life, you know? Like, I say stuff like, goodness gracious. <laughs> This is the statement I made last week, I swear to God. I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe we should just call the police. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I know we hang around too many white people because I have been getting depressed. That's a white thing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Black people get depressed too, which is just so claiming, you know? Like, I called my dad this morning, I'm like, hey dad, hey dad. Uh, Dad, Dad, man, I think I'm depressed. He like, nigga, depressed? <laughs> nigga, eat pussy, drink water. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. <laughs> Jesus is black, man. I I'm serious. This is how I know, man. Cause Jesus in the Bible is like, hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> Two thousand years ago. <laughs> this is how I know Jesus is black, and other guys at church way too high, way too high. And when you at church, you got epiphanies, right? Like I was, I was listening to him, and it was, it's this verse in uh, Timothy that goes, uh, and Jesus goes, uh, uh, "When I die, uh, I'm going to heaven, where I prepare a mansion for myself and a mansion for all my people." But I was high, <laughs> and I knew what he was trying to say. And what he was trying to say is, um, uh, when this album drop, all my niggas gonna have bitches, you know what I'm saying? It may get bigger, it may get a little bigger, it may not get bigger at all, we'll see what happens. But regardless of what happens, we're totally prepared. I got, I got an old black mom, man, which is cool, man, but it, it's weird because old black moms are real pessimistic. Anything you say, they make negative, you know? Like, I called my mom the other day for her birthday to say what's up. I was like, not to say what's up, to say happy birthday. I called my mom, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, Ma, happy birthday. She's like, thank you, son. She's like, what's you up to? I'm like, get this, Ma. I'm actually going to church. She's like, oh, that's good. You're going to church, but just remember, you can't trust them niggas. I'm like, what? <laughs> she's like, you can't trust them niggas. I'm like, Ma, I'm going to church. Why would you say something like that? She's like, because that's why I met your father. I'm like, good point. <laughs>
And me being a smart kid, I said, Ma, are you saying because I'm black, people gonna treat me differently? And she was like, nah, son. <laughs> Not because you black, because <laughs> you ugly, nigga. <laughs> For Halloween, I dressed up in white face. I'm sorry. Uh, I know what white people are afraid of. You're not gonna like this one. I know what white people are afraid of. White people are afraid of uh, niggification. That's what y'all are afraid of. If you don't know what niggification is, it's like gentrification, but with rhythm. That's the only difference. Niggification, though, it happens immediately. <laughs> immediately, you know? Black people move into a white neighborhood, the changes happen overnight, you know? All the fat white girls got boyfriends. It's a mean change, is what I'm saying. It happens, it happens overnight. You know? Drink. I you. I you. You what?